Well, Sky Security and Defence Analyst Michael Clark joins me now. And Michael, it's great to have you here. Some major developments this morning. What do you think has happened here? Yeah, it's a big story, Vanessa. Um, the, the Russian claim that it was a, a vehicle that exploded on the bridge is ridiculous. I mean, if it was an explosion, it would have gone upwards, not come from underneath, and you can't get that much stuff into a vehicle going over a bridge. I mean, bridges are designed to withstand accidents of that sort. This is either a, a missile, uh, which would be a missile heavier than the Ukrainians are supposed to have, or a special forces operation to sabotage the bridge with explosives underneath, in which case they'll be making Hollywood films about this for some time to come, because it was a huge victory, if it's a special forces victory, to actually get explosives under a bridge of that magnitude in the middle of an area that the Russians are guarding very, very severely and very carefully. So whatever it is, it's a, it's a big hit, either a big missile or a big special forces operation. And although the Ukrainians will not claim it yet, um, it's a huge victory for them, similar to the sinking of the Moskva, the, uh, the, the flagship in the Black Sea. It's a big blow to the Russians in that respect. Absolutely. I guess the key question here is why has this particular bridge then been targeted? And also, as you were just, I mean, you've alluded to some of that, but what is the significance then for Ukraine? Yeah, the significance is, is the importance of the bridge. <clears throat> I mean, until this bridge was built, was in, it was opened in 2018 by Mr Putin to great fanfare. Um, it was the only link between Russia proper and Crimea that didn't go through uh, Ukraine. And so the only way that the Russians could keep Crimea directly supplied was via that bridge. Before the bridge, there was just a ferry, the Kirsch Ferry, which used to run like every two hours and just take a few vehicles. It was a very, very t uh, small link. So that bridge was vital. And of course, it's been vital in war supply because it was the line through which the Russians easily got their equipment into Crimea and out to the Kherson region. Now, with the bridge down, and it won't be down forever, but with the bridge down, the Russians have now got to rely on stuff from Berdyansk and Mariupol. So they've got to take things by, effectively by sea to Mariupol and Berdyansk and then use the one decent rail line, which is coming within range now of, of uh, Ukrainian uh, artillery. So Russian supply lines into Kherson will be affected by this in quite a big way. However, this is temporary. The Russians will, will repair the bridge for sure. And if the Ukrainians could hit the rail bridge more uh, strongly than they obviously did, then that would be better for them. But to bring the road bridge down is a tremendous achievement, and to damage the rail bridge is still pretty good. My guess is that the, this will give the Ukrainians maybe two weeks, three weeks, until this is all repaired, of advantage where the Russians will find it really difficult to get any more equipment into the Kherson region where they're already in trouble. Absolutely. And I, I think most people then will be wondering what impact will this then have on Putin and the war moving forward? It's a big one because uh, Mr Putin opened this bridge in 2018 to great fanfare. And, of course, for him, this was the symbol of the fact that Crimea was now Russian. Crimea had been conquered in 2014, it had been annexed uh, by Russia illegally. And the idea of, of linking Russia uh, directly to Crimea via the bridge was a way of saying this, of course, is now Russian. No question about it. So he put his prestige on the line by saying that. He never thought he would have to go back on it. And, you know, given the fact that the Memorial Institute, um, uh, Sakharov's Institute, was, was uh, awarded the Peace Prize yesterday, the Nobel Peace Prize, and this overnight, it hasn't been a great uh, birthday, 70th birthday celebration for him, one way or another. Not at all. Major setback for him, isn't it? Indeed. Michael, thank you.